Three, two, one. All right, here we go. Shh. Chapter six, section two, parallelograms. Here's what I want you to do. Without looking in your book, without doing anything else, I'm going to focus on six properties of parallelograms today. Okay, so I want you to list as many properties as you know on parallelograms. Go. Okay, when we're talking about properties of parallelograms, a parallelogram is a what? What's its shape? It's a quadrilateral, okay? So quadrilateral is going to have sides. It's going to have angles. That's not one of the properties. So if you're writing that down, just relax. Okay, so let's talk about the sides, okay, of a parallelogram. Okay, anybody tell me something about the sides of a parallelogram? Zach? One pair of parallel sides. Okay, does it have one pair of parallel sides? No, okay, so property number one. The opposite sides are parallel. And I'm going to use the parallel. No, I'm not going to do that. I need to write it out. Okay, so that means it has two sets of parallel sides. Okay, anything else about the sides? Opposite sides are parallel and sides are, equal. are equal. Okay, so the opposite sides okay, and those are the two side properties. All right, so now we'll go into angles. Okay, what do you think about angles? They all add up to be 360. Okay, we're not going to use that as a property because that's a quadrilateral thing, but that is true. The opposite angles are equal. I'm going to use the math word congruent. Uh-huh, that's my math geek coming out. Okay, opposite angles are congruent. And there's one more angle property. Okay, the second angle property, I have opposite angles and I have corresponding angles. Okay, now... Remember from our two parallel lines cut by a transversal, what are corresponding angles? Supplementary. supplementary. Okay. Corresponding angles supplementary. Actually, I should rewind. That's not right. Okay. Corresponding angles in parallels are one on the inside, one on the outside. Those are congruent. Corresponding angles in a parallelogram are basically the consecutive interior angles. The one that's on the top here, like this angle here, because the board is a parallelogram, this angle and this angle are supplementary. Okay. All right. So now I've covered sides and angles. What else does a parallelogram have? It's got something other than sides and angles. What's the other thing? Points. What if I go from opposite angle to opposite angle? What's that called? What's it called? No, 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 no. Shh. If I draw, okay, it is a transversal, I agree. But if I draw a line from this corner of my board to that corner of my board, what's that called in a parallelogram? Diagonal. Very good. Okay. Okay, so a parallelogram has sides, it has angles, and it has diagonals. What was the very first thing that we called the top one? The, uh, this. Oh, sides. Opposite sides? Okay, so diagonals, all right, will bisect each other.
Okay. Diagonals bisect each other, which means what? Diagonals, when they intersect, they cut each other into equal pieces, two equal pieces, halves, however you want to say that. Okay? And diagonals also separate, separate, S-E-P-A-R-E-R-A-T-E? -E? Yes. Okay. I think it's A. No, I'm going with A. I, I should have went with A. I let Cameron talk me into it. Separate. That doesn't look any better. Either way, it's whatever. Potato, potato. Separate, separate. It's all right. For all of you who are watching this around the world, it's okay. I'm a math teacher, not an English teacher, so I don't spell very well. Okay. That <laughs> Diagonals separate the, the parallelogram. Shh. into give me an extend there we go into two congruent triangles okay so diagonals bisect each other and they cut the parallelogram into two congruent triangles all right Okay, so let's look at an example. Okay, so I have triangle, excuse me, I have parallelogram ABCD with the diagonals intersecting at E, knowing those six properties that we know out here to the right or wherever on your paper, I want you to tell me everything that you could prove with this parallelogram. For example, which side is parallel to which side? Which angle is equal to which angle? Okay, let's talk about sides right away, okay? Speaking of sides, Tyler, all right. What, uh, you've probably never heard that before, yeah. Tell me something about sides. Oh. <laughs> Say again. BC congruent to AD. Why, oh, I, I get such a habit, I'm sorry. Okay, Isabella, give me another one, um, and let's stay with the congruent. What's the other congruent set? Uh, is congruent to CD. Okay. All right, so let's stay with the congruent segments, but not sides. Now there are some other congruent segments. What are they? BE is congruent to DE. Okay, BE is congruent to. I'm just going to go with ED. If you put DE, that's fine. Same thing. Doesn't matter. Skylar, what's the other one? Um, okay. All right. Um, let's see. Let's go with... Oh, I don't want to get too far. Let's go with some angles. Anthony. A is congruent to C. Okay. Somebody else? Brock? B is congruent to D. Let's see. Okay. Let's talk about some other angle relationships. Okay. So however you wrote that, if you wrote C plus D equals 180, or if you wrote C and D are supplementary, either way is fine. Sorry about that. Those of you listening at home, that'll sound good. All right, what's another one? Okay, so A and B are also supplementary. Okay. Hang on. Okay, anything else I can do from the six properties? Okay, so you want to do triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC? 
Absolutely, because that's one of the properties. Where is that going to help you? If on your problems they're giving you missing parts and you know that the triangles are congruent, then you know certain sides are congruent certain sides. Anything else from the six properties? Don't ask me a what if. Anything else? Okay, go ahead. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of an indirect one. All right. B and C are also supplementary. Okay. Because they are consecutive. If we flip this over this way, they would be consecutive. So B and C and A and D. I'm getting a little lazy here, but that's all right. Okay. Anything else? Okay, so you went triangles the other direction. All right. Cool. I know it. Let's see. B, C, D, and D, A, B. Okay, anybody see anything else? Hey, Lee, what do you think? Say again. Okay, yeah, we got to get the parallels, right? We haven't even done those yet. So we've got BC parallel to AD. Okay, and then the other one's going to be AB and CD. Okay, tear it up. Brock? Shh. Say it again. B E bisects B D bisects A C and that's good. Not A B A C sorry. Okay. That's a lot of stuff. All right. Now, again, we can go back and not even use those six properties. We can use those six properties indirectly. Because these two lines are parallel, this is a transversal, which means that's congruent to that, because they're what? No, what? Alternate interior. And it also means this one's equal to that one, because they are alternate interior. All right, there's a ton of stuff we can get from this. All right? Okay, so that's the six properties, about 13 minutes, good times.